I am. <laughs> and Tony. Not Greg. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? First of all, Tony, I really don't get much opportunity to work with Tony. Because <laughs> that's what I've always thought. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, when I first became a Europe speaker, I had two speakers that I wanted to emulate. I decided I want to be halfway between the quiet confidence of Tony Johnson. This is no bull in our right now, Tony. And the forcefulness of Ron Rovers. Because I know I was never going to be as small as Tony. <laughs> you know, but Tony, you know, Tony's a really great guy. I gotta say that the first year that I became the Gear Up speaker, we were down in Fort Worth and Carl and Tony were working on the technology seminar. And I said to Steve, I said, Steve, I would really like to be involved in the technology seminar someday. And Steve says, well, you know, Carl and Tony are doing that. And I said, well, I understand, but someday maybe something will happen to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that means that they won't be able to do that. Little did I know at that time, Tony had already fallen on his head <laughs> and broke it. And Steve says, is it possible for you to get ready to do the technology seminars in one week? I was on vacation, by the way, at that point in time. So I owe a lot of what I am today as a Gear Up speaker to Mr. Tony Johnson breaking his head. <laughs> now, Tony, of course the 1040s are something that we all kind of start out on this thing. But today, I am, I am starting to present another seminar, the Mid-Year Tax Update. Tony and John have traditionally been handling that seminar. Tony, did you break something again? <laughs> you know, I'm going to check my bicycle. <laughs> but I want to say something about Tony. Tony is Mr. Techno Geek. He has a presenter that is twice the size of my TV remote. <laughs> Have you ever tried to touch Tony's presenter? Size doesn't matter. <laughs> size doesn't matter. I'm telling you this thing. I picked up this thing one day and it started to erase the book. It's really quite the thing. And Tony and I did spend some time with each other, not very much, but last year we were in New Jersey. Tony rented, folks. Oh. What's that? Those are fun. Until you get something brown and big in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ridden with Tony? Yeah, Tony believes in the accelerator. <laughs> uh, so Tony and I got lost in New Jersey. How many times? Two or three times. Two or three times. His Hertz GPS. But Tony, you know, do you remember what we did that night? We went to dinner. We had dinner in a nice little restaurant. Tony, do you remember who picked up the check? I'm sure it was me. No, it wasn't, Tony. <laughs> Tony, you still owe me for dinner. <laughs> well, hey, we're, we're clear now. <laughs> but Tony's a great guy, and it's really a great asset. A, however, <laughs> I'm going to draw a contrast between Abe and Tony. I told you that Tony is the techno geek. I love working and talking to Tony. I mean, he is so much fun. To say that Abe doesn't embrace technology would be an overstatement. <laughs> Abe still carries a sundial with him. <laughs> and a slide rule. Too. And a slide rule. <laughs> right. He's trying to teach me how to use an abacus, but <laughs> Abe continues to be very technologically challenged. <laughs> the great thing about doing seminars with Abe, I love when I team talk with Abe, I still do in fact. Abe and I do the IRS uh, seminar together. He's a very gracious individual. And he's a lot of fun. But the thing about Abe, you'll be teaching a seminar, and he will go into a wild diatribe about something that he's upset about today. Let me give you a couple of examples. 